where Liverpool put their Belgrade nightmare firmly behind them here at Anfield this afternoon, running out 2-0 winners against Fulham in the Premier League. And you'd have to say Jurgen Klopp's side were good value for the three points over the course of the 90 minutes. They had to work hard for it. It was a shaky start. Um, you know, there wasn't too much control for periods of that first half. I think uh, Fulham actually caused Liverpool a fair few problems defensively. Um, you know, Ryan Sessegnon had a big, big chance at 0-0. Uh, Mitrovic had, had a, a couple of sights as well. There was a Schürrle strike that Alisson made a bit of a hash of and the Liverpool keeper was indebted to, uh, to Van Dijk winning the race for the rebound. But, um, you know, just once Liverpool went in front, they, uh, they showed much greater control in that second half. You, you never felt that Fulham were going to get back into it. And, and they killed them off. I think, for me, there were three outstanding performers for Liverpool today. One, Mo Salah. Um, you know, I thought he tormented Fulham's back line with his pace and his movement. He'd had a couple of sighters um, before he opened the score in four minutes before half-time. It was a, you know, a wonderful finish. Um, from a quickly taken free kick, there'll be you know some controversy surrounding that because uh, you know Fulham thought they were in front. Mitrovic rose to, to head home a free kick. The flag went up. You know I've seen the replay four or five times, and um, it's such a tight, tight call. I think you know, yeah, you'd probably say that uh, you know in this day and age the attackers tend to get the the benefit of the doubt, but you can you know it's not a it's not a terrible decision. It's a, it's a very tough one for the linesman to call. It went Liverpool's way. And within 14 seconds of Mitrovic being flagged offside, Liverpool are ahead at the other end. So a real roller coaster of emotions. Fulham caught napping. Um, Allison taking the free kick quickly. Uh, Trent Alexander Arnold whipping the ball down the right hand side for Mo Salah. And um, yeah, Fulham left exposed. Salah running through and uh, finishing it expertly. His eighth goal of the season. And uh, you know, there's no doubt that was the, the, the crucial moment in the, in the afternoon, uh, eight minutes after half time. Uh, the points were effectively wrapped up and uh, you know, a wonderful delivery from Andy Robertson on the left, whipped it to the back post, the unmarked Shakiri uh, volleying home and Shakiri, I think I gave him out of the match to Salah, but Shakiri certainly wasn't far behind him. You know, he received another huge standing ovation when he was substituted uh, late on and uh, you know, his love affair with the cop continues unabated. He's a, an absolute breath of fresh air. Shakiri, I think um, Liverpool aren't the same team when he's not out there. I think his last six appearances for the club, two goals, three assists. He is that creative spark that they've been missing. And I know Klopp um, has had a habit so far of only picking him in games at home, really, where um, it, it's tended to have been against limited opposition, where he thinks that uh, Shakiri can obviously have, have that ability to unlock a defence. But I think he's becoming that important to Liverpool that I think you know he, he commands a place no matter what opposition they're facing. Um, you know, it was a, a really impressive display from Shakiri cutting in off the right. Such a clever player, so strong as well. And um, you can see he struck up a really good understanding with Liverpool's uh, attacking front three. So Salah and Shakiri, both of them exceptional. And uh, I'd put Andy Robertson in that bracket today as well. Um, you know, I thought he was brilliant down the left-hand side. Of course, he got the assist for the second goal, but he was, he was just, he put in such a brilliant shift, you know, so solid defensively, winning the ball back, making important interceptions, and then always an outlet for Liverpool going forward. You know, he, he stung the keeper's palms late on as well, could have had a goal himself, um, but the cop, the cop showing their appreciation for his efforts, Robertson's name ringing around this stadium three or four times in that second half, and, you know, he deserves a huge amount of credit because... I think it was going to be always going to be difficult for him to try and live up to last season. You know, a dream first campaign for him with the Reds. Um, but you'd have to say he's delivered. You know, he's a, been a model of consistency. Um, so yeah, Salah, Shakiri, and Robertson. I thought the three of those absolutely key to Liverpool getting the job done today. I thought also there were promising signs from Roberto Firmino. Um, he's been on a real lean spell. Didn't get a goal, but you know he was involved in a lot of things that were good about Liverpool today. Some really clever cute touches to to create opportunities and I thought Fabino did well as well um, you know the fellow Brazilian coming back into the midfield um, he kept Liverpool on the front foot snapping into tackles uh, used the ball well um, so although yeah it's you know the, the fluency still isn't there quite yet but you know there were a lot of promising signs today and the bottom line is Liverpool have got 30 points out of 36. You know, they've uh, they've only ever managed that at one point in the Premier League era to date. That was back in 2002-03, and their goal difference of 18 is is the best they've had ever had at this stage, as well. So um, I think you can tell. You know, nobody's 
getting carried away. The, the you know the mood in here was quite muted today because, of course, despite Liverpool having that fantastic return, the uh, the competition at the top of the Premier League is probably as formidable as it's ever been. But um, you know all Liverpool can do is take care of their own business. Klopp now has got a fortnight to gather his thoughts. Plenty of food for thought after what we've seen in recent weeks, and and for him it's just a case of trying to make the tweaks and necessary adjust adjustments. Um, just to get Liverpool firing on all cylinders because uh, we haven't seen that yet. But you know, if Klopp can make things click, uh, and we do see the Liverpool that we saw in the second half of last season, then uh, it does promise. It promises to be a, uh, a thrilling campaign. So it finished in Liverpool two, Fulham nil. Uh, the Reds back on track after that big disappointment in Belgrade. 